Hello, it's Friday, February the 3rd. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotions. Today we are reading from the book of Romans, chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Here's the word of the Lord. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Though through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame. Because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, God, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person. Though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if, while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his Son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we also boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received <coughs> reconciliation. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled Past, Present, and Future by Ron Dalton. If anyone could understand the tremendous love of God who made the extraordinary sacrifice to reconcile a person who was an enemy, it would be Paul. Paul, on the road to Damascus to persecute the church, is stopped by the risen Jesus. His life was powerfully changed, transformed, and redirected from that point forward. He, who was an enemy, now becomes a friend. So, with confidence and excitement, he conveys these truths. We were enemies. God and Christ reconciled us to himself. And he is alive and will do whatever is needed to save us from any future outpouring of God's judgment. <clears throat> this is not a license to relax our commitments in a false security that once converted, we cannot fall away in sin. It is instead an assurance of God's gracious provisions needed to persevere through troubles and temptations that come our way. Now, being friends, the believer can be assured of God's omnipotence to make us more than conquerors through him that loves us and gave himself for us. The hymn is a mighty fortress by Martin Luther. And though this world with devil's fear should threaten to undo us, we will not fear, for God hath willed his truth to triumph through us. And from the 116th Psalm, verses 5 and 6, The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought low, he saved me. And this is your daily devotion for Friday, February the 3rd. Have a blessed day.